Welcome to KSAT News Now. I'm Stephen Cavazos in for RJ Marquez. We have a lot of news to get to here in the KSAT Newsroom, so let's get started. Go Spurs, go! The Spurs getting the number one pick in this year's draft. It's still the talk of town, and it'll probably be that way for a while. We will most likely be getting French basketball star Victor Wembenyama, and now the interest for season tickets? Well, guess what? It's soaring. Spurs officials say they've had seen about 10 times the normal amount of web traffic and Spurs app downloads since those lottery results. We celebrated for about five minutes and it was lots of high fiving, hugs, um, sips of champagne, and then 40 people hit the phones. All right, the draft pick could be one of the biggest years in Spurs sale, ticket sales history. All right, now on to some TikTok news. Montana has become the first state in the nation to ban TikTok. The governor there signed a bill to outlaw the app. He says he did it to protect Montana's personal and, pri personal and private data from the Chinese. Now, the ban is a major blow to content creators in the state. Uh, just because it's like one of the three main platforms that like I've built a community on. It's the biggest one I've built a community on. But as a content creator, you kind of always have to adapt. TikTok officials say Montana's new law infringes on the First Amendment rights of the people of Montana by unlawfully banning TikTok. All right, Formula One and Italian organizers are calling off the Emilia Rom Romagana Grand Prix tour to heavy rains and flooding. The event was supposed to happen this weekend, but organizers say it can't be held safely. Last year's race drew almost 200,000 fans to it. As of right now, a rescheduled date has not been announced. All right, the weather was uh, nice and sunny today, Mia. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of uh, cars out there on the roadways, but thankfully I don't think it caused any issues for drivers, at least here in town. Right, yeah, and really as we head into this afternoon, you're talking about sunshine. We're going to see more sunshine throughout the remainder of this Thursday. Because of that, though, it is going to be pretty warm out there, especially as we head into the 3 to 5 p.m. time frame. Temperatures here in San Antonio climbing into the upper 80s and even close to 90, and it is humid, too, so we do need to factor that in as well. A look at those forecast temperatures in and around the San Antonio area by 5 p.m. 89 in New Braunfels stretching over to Floresville, 90 in Pleasanton, 91 in Pearsall later on today. We should stay pretty quiet and that's going to be the theme again as we head into your Friday. Most of the day is going to be fine. We'll see mostly sunny skies, a humid start in the upper 60s, daytime highs climbing into the low 90s here in town. It's as we get into Friday night after sunset around 10 to midnight. That's when we could see a few showers and storms move into the area as yes, we see a cold front move in as well. That combined with some lingering rain chances, pretty isolated to maybe widely scattered, especially on Saturday out west, should hold temperatures to the low 80s each weekend day. So what we'll do is we'll time this out. What we will be monitoring with a few of those thunderstorms, yes, they have the potential to become strong, maybe even briefly severe for those that do tap into one of those stronger storms, some hail and yes, some wind gusts, the biggest things to monitor there. Basically what's going to happen, especially by tomorrow morning, low pressure and that front off to our north. But notice here by about 10 to midnight as we head into late Friday night, early Saturday morning, a cluster of rain and storm starts to move in from the north as that front approaches. And then it will continue to work its way farther off to the south as we head into the early morning hours of our Saturday. Saturday and then into Saturday afternoon, especially out west. That's when we could find a few lingering thunderstorms. But for the most part, you don't need to cancel any of your weekend plans, but especially by Saturday morning, especially for any early morning soccer matches or plans that you may have, just be sure to keep your eyes on the radar. We'll monitor what's left of those storms as they move through the area. 20% chance isolated on Sunday. Again, temperatures a bit cooler in the low 80s behind that front, and then we'll start to warm things back up as we head into the beginning of next week, Stephen. You know what? Make sure to have that KSAP weather app downloaded. Yes. I know that you guys have been promoting that, so notifications also turned on so that way we know what's going on, and we appreciate you guys always keeping track. Of course. We'll keep eyes on it. All right. You like Blue Bell ice cream? I love Blue Bell what did you? Cream. What was your favorite flavor? I'm just curious. The Cookie Two-Step was a really good. I, it's cookie Two-Step? It's so good. I've, it's so good. I've never heard of that. What about but, you? You know, I'm a simple guy, vanilla oh. and or strawberry. Delicious. Banana split, too. Always. Well, get this. There's a new flavor being released just in time for summer. 
Dr. Pepper Float, what are your I'm thoughts on that? I'm so excited about <laughs> this. I feel like Dr. Pepper Floats were such a big part of my childhood. Oh I yeah, know. I love Dr. P. And guess what? The new flavor is Bluebell's Classic Creamy Vanilla Ice Cream. So it's got something I like, swirled together with some Dr. Pepper that you like. Yes. So it's perfect. It's a flavored a sherbet. Now for a little history, Bluebell Creameries was founded in 1907 but it didn't start serving ice cream outside of Texas until the late 1980s. I always felt like Bluebell growing up was such a localized thing for Texans. I never really thought about other people right. across the country. I was like, oh, I just love Bluebell for Texas. It's such a staple for us. Have mm -hmm. you ever been to the cream raise in Brenham? No. I've never been inside, but I've passed through <laughs> by. Like I've passed through Brenham and I saw the cream raise. Oh my and gosh. you can go in supposedly and taste test and wow. they have so many different flavors to try. So that's on my bucket list. Well, you know what? That sounds like a perfect summer road trip. I love that. All right. And you know what I love? We got a chance to hang out today. Of course. Talk about KNN, talk Such about a news, pleasure. weather. And guess what? We'll be back here doing it all again tomorrow. RJ Marcus may be back. So uh, pleasure. thank you for having me. And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 11.